I want to tell you just a little bit about my story because I kind of, I've been hearing from about seven or eight of my friends here tonight of their stories and I've heard some amazing things. It all started for me when I was 13 and I'm 71 now. Divide that. I mean, subtract that. How, how long is that ago? I went to the Boy Scout Jamboree at Irving Ranch, California and I fell in love with my tent mate. Have you ever had an infatuation? Yeah. You know the kind of thing. The kind of thing that you just, you, it comes from nowhere and you are a victim of it. And I didn't know why I was feeling this way. I wanted to touch him. I wanted to hold him. I'm, I'm 13. I wanted to kiss him. I wanted to get in a sleeping bag with him. I'm thinking, what's wrong with me? This is some kind of sickness. So I went home and held that secret in my heart and thinking, I'm, I'm not only sick, I'm sinful. This is evil. So for about junior high, senior high, college, I went to therapy trying to find out how to get rid of these feelings and never told any of the counselors what the feelings were. You can imagine how much money I spent and how confused they all were. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? It seems pretty normal. I'm saying I'm crying. <laughs> And some of you have gone through that. That's what's happening to kids right now. You know? We've made all these advances, and yet all these young people, young lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people, are having that same feeling and feeling like they're all alone in the world, and nobody knows or nobody cares. And so then somebody comes along and bullies them, and the next thing you know, there's five of them killing themselves in one week. So... This church is a beacon. You are saying to this community, hey, Jesus loves you. Amen. This we know, Amen. for the Bible tells us so. And whatever you're using the Bible for to condemn us, remember, there are 33,000 verses that say God loves us, and there are seven verses that you're misusing to say He doesn't. Can you imagine of the religion that we're part of has taught generations of people that God doesn't love them? Hello. Is anybody home? The church is... Okay, I'll say it this way. Religion is the enemy. Yes. Yes. And if you weren't born in a Southern Baptist home, you're lucky. <laughs> how, many you, how many of you are unlucky? <laughs> you look like a bunch of Baptists. <laughs> So, so I got to be, I met a girl in high school, I mean, in junior, seventh grade, Lila Lee Lore. <laughs> pretty, smart, ooh, just everything a heterosexual would like. Well, I'm a homosexual and I liked her too. You know, gay people like lesbians and lesbians like gay, all that's a rumor. It's not true. And so I, we started dating in the seventh grade. Whatever you do in the seventh grade to date, we did it. And we went through high school and college, and after at graduate school, she finally said to me, are you going to ask me to marry you or not? And I said, great idea. <laughs> Let's get married. I had told her before we got married that I, I was attracted to men. And she said, what do you want to do about it? And I said, I don't want to be gay. First of all, I didn't know that was an option. I thought it was a sin, right? So why would you want to be sinful? And I didn't want to be sick. I wanted to have kids and grandkids and do all those things that straight people do. And she said, all right, I like gay people. I just don't want you to be one. <laughs> but after all those years, we took 20 years. We got married and spent 20 years in therapy. Meaning, I went through everything. I went through exorcism where they came and laid their hands and they spoke in tongues and they said that you know, exercise the demon. I went through electric shock. I don't know if you've ever had electric shock, but see what happens to your hair when you get electric shock. <laughs> I went through all kinds of aversive therapies. I took, I don't know, what is that little alum? Have you heard of alum? Yes. You people who can know that alum is for some reason a can. It's the worst tasting stuff in the world. And, you, and my counselor said, well, if the cold showers didn't work and the prayer and fasting didn't work, and the giving your life to Jesus didn't work, and the exorcism didn't work, and the life just, why don't you just take alum every time you're attracted to a man? I was eating alum like M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> and really, 
awful tasty stuff, but I got a taste for it. <laughs> you see, those therapies don't work. God made you queer. God made you a lesbian or a bisexual or a transgender person. Celebrate it. Yes. You can come to a place 